Welcome to Credit Matters TV. We've affirmed our B-plus sovereign credit rating on Sri Lanka, but revised our outlook to negative from stable. The negative outlook reflects a deterioration in Sri Lanka's fiscal accounts, as well as pressures in its external liquidity that appear likely to intensify over the next six months without policy responses. The weakening in Sri Lanka's fiscal performance follows on from its August 2015 budget, which did little to address fundamental weaknesses in the government's fiscal metrics. Without remedial action to improve revenue and uh, contain spending performance, we project Sri Lanka's fiscal deficits will average over 6% of GDP over 2016 to 2019. We believe this will result in net debt remaining above 70% of GDP for the next two years, which is the highest debt burden in the Asia-Pacific after Japan. The weaker external settings reflect higher capital and financial account outflows that are broadly in line with what we're observing in many other emerging market sovereigns. Sri Lanka also faced a sizable debt servicing obligations in 2016 at a time when its reserves have recently declined. Our B-plus sovereign credit rating on Sri Lanka reflects the country's weak external liquidity, a high government debt and interest burden, and relatively low levels of wealth. These rating constraints weigh against Sri Lanka's otherwise quite robust growth prospects, which we see as being above average for sovereigns at similar levels of development. The negative outlook indicates that we could lower our ratings on Sri Lanka in 2016 if there is further weakening in its external and fiscal performance. We may revise the outlook back to stable if Sri Lanka's external and fiscal indicators improve faster than we project, or if we believe the strength of Sri Lanka's institutions and governance practices are on a significant and sustained improving trend. This is Credit Matters TV.